Tell us if y'all was talking with Kirk and it's Steve Boston reacts to this impressive video. It's titled Meg The Stallion Clashed with Winnie Harlow at a party. So basically she put the pause on her is what I'm gathering. And Holly Bailey faces more backlash. Oh my God, leave her alone. That story's out at this point. Uh, but, but sure, let's see what's going on. Let's watch. I heard Winnie is a mean girl. That's what I heard. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. Some tea was spilled that Megan Thee Stallion allegedly got into an altercation with the model Winnie Harlow. And I'm gonna get into that, but before I do, I wait that are support. Yeah, now back to the video, <laughs> Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked spilled some tea that Megan Thee Stallion allegedly got into it with Winnie Harlow. Um, every now that <laughs> so this is a gambling company who wants you to gamble, but under it says gambling problem. Call one. Why would I do that if I got a gambling problem? If I got a gambling problem, you know what I'm focused on? The gambling. So I'm gonna go to the website. I'm gonna go to goldennugget.com or casino.com. I'm gonna go to casino.com <laughs> and play Golden Nugget. I don't know how this shit works. That's what I'm gonna do. That's like a, a fucking uh, advertisement for crack, being like, oh, crackheads, go, call this number, go get help. No, I'm gonna focus on the crack because that's what I wanna do. I wanna smoke the crack. So whatever, <laughs> whatever crack you sell it, or if, if I'm an alcoholic, whatever alcohol you sell, that's what I'm gonna focus on because I'm an addict. I'm addicted. I got a problem. I'm not about to be looking for help. Hey, let me let me fix this problem. I just think that disclaimer is goofy. Just do your immoral shit <laughs> and, and and you know uh, push gambling on people and leave it at that. Don't try to make it seem like oh we're trying to help it. No, you're not. Fuck out of here. Anyway. Now back to the video. Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked spilled some tea that Megan Thee Stallion allegedly got into it with Winnie Harlow. Um, everybody keeps asking me to release the tea on Megan that I said I was going to release. Um, I don't really trust him on the She got in a fight with Winnie Harlow at Michael Rubin's party. I don't have all the full details yet. And I'm waiting on the video. But I've texted Megan and Winnie, so there you go. Boom. Hold on. So do y'all believe this? Do you believe that Megan and Winnie got into it? <laughs> you know, there might be some truth to it, but I'm going to say it's all alleged until the proof comes out. But... If it is true, I do wonder what they could have been arguing or fighting about. That's the tea I want to know. I can see them kind of bumping heads because of their personalities. It was said that Winnie Harlow does have a stank personality. I told y'all. I, I, I told didn't get a chance to watch her on America's she Next Top Model, but they said that she was rude. So it is possible that she... I heard about this after. Actually... Yeah, um, I don't even know when she was on. I was about to say, actually, I don't even know when she was on America's Next Time Model, but I'm sure it was many years ago because um, I didn't watch it. But, um, no, I've heard about this since she's been, like, really famous and, in, in, you know, the media and a celebrity and, you know, people talking about her. That's when I heard it. Honestly, I heard this maybe, like, a couple years ago. I'm pretty sure she was on America's Top, Next Time Model way, way before that so yeah it wasn't just a show where she was being stank but that's crazy if she was being stank on the show as well mm. might have done or said something to megan to rub megan the wrong way and maybe that's why they got into a fight who knows or maybe megan could have done something because you know megan does have a reputation of being a bit confrontational particularly when she drinks it was said that she fought her ex-best friend Kelsey over Tory Lanez when she was Girl, drunk. She also got into a confrontation with her please, former stylist, EJ King, when she was drunk at a party. We did talk at Cardi's party, and, and it was it did get a little heated, but that's because please. everybody was faded at, at, at Cardi's party. I'm not a huge drinker, so I was a little more, you know, calm or whatever, but everybody was faded. I know when uh, Megan is faded. I know how passionate and um uh animated megan is when she's talking mm. megan also admitted that when things got heated between her and one of her ex-boyfriends she would put her hands on him oh, did they she would put jail? their hands on each other and she actually yeah, got arrested for putting her hands on him in public like i said it was toxic it was fun at the time but it was very toxic but i was young and i thought that toxic sh was cute but it's not don't let niggas put their hands on you and don't put your hands on this because i'm not gonna say that i wouldn't put my hands on him because when that got out of line i was wrapping his ass up Ooh. but that 
that uh, that ain't come that ain't come at no little cute price. So anyway, so Megan does mm-hmm. have a history of being a bit aggressive. Mm-hmm. So I could definitely believe that. That's scary. I would never want to play that game with a dude. If this fight really happened, I want to know what it was I'm about. Knock ass I'm interested to know the tea, and I want to know who won too. But Girl, I'm just being we messy. I don't need to know who messy, won. But obviously, <laughs> anyway, moving on. I want to talk about Halle Bailey. Hallie actually got under fire this week after she called out DDG for taking their... We got to hear what she got to say about it because, child, <laughs> impressive is pro Haley, okay? Her son Hallie. on Kai Sinat's live pro stream Hallie. without her knowledge. She said, hi, everyone. Just so you know, Girl, I'm out know, of town and don't so approve of my baby being on a stream girl. tonight. I wasn't told what or you notified, think about it. and I'm extremely... She about to be on um, Haley's side. ...upset to have my baby in front of millions Hallie. of people. Hallie's I'm side. his mother and protector and saddened that I wasn't notified, especially when I am out of town. As a woman experiencing severe postpartum, there are boundaries that I wish to be respected. Nobody knows what someone is going through until they snap. Team should be by. So Hallie was really upset about this, clearly, but people on the internet were not here for it. They were actually calling her bitter and controlling, and... I didn't think that was fair to say because it is possible that maybe Hallie had a conversation with DDG about the overexposure of their son. And obviously, she wants to be aware of where her son is when she's away. Nothing is wrong with that. I will say probably taking it to the Internet was not a smart idea because the Internet is not a safe place. And I was surprised to see some people turn on Hallie the way they did. Here were some of the tweets I read. Hallie laid down with a streamer and shocked the streamer got the baby on a stream. <laughs> that was the best Someone else stuff. said Hallie weaponizing postpartum isn't okay when she had Halo on her live with Chloe multiple times. Oh, know, but it's not okay to use that against DDG, who is also a parent and also has Halo a lot as well. Both parents have rights, and you both are doing the same exact thing. Hallie posted that statement on Twitter because she knows DDG is heavily disliked by black women and thought they would be tarnishing his name, but it looks like it backfired. The majority is not on her side with this one. Hallie Bailey is a loser, and Damn. basically said, you let a childish corny streamer knock you up, lied about it, then told everyone to mind their business. Now you online complaining about the baby daddy you let get you pregnant in under two years of being together. She is dumb. Okay, yeah, you. this reeks of jealousy. See, you gotta be able to... <laughs> You know, distinguish the uh, the the hate, the actual hate from criticism that is rooted in logic, okay, and reason. This is the definition of a hater. Like, it's just dripping with unnecessary hostility. It's like, girl, you didn't need to say all this. This was doing too much. A fucking loser, a dumbass. And... Ooh, that's harsh. It kind of just irritated me. Hallie okay. turned it again, and it ain't for her movies. That DVD player has her in shambles. I don't understand Hallie's thought process. If she's out of town and leaving the baby with the dad and he decides to go on stream, he has every right to do that without her consent. He ain't doing nothing wrong but sitting in front of a camera with the baby just like she does. Right, it's giving control free. Like, just because it wasn't her idea, it's wrong. I don't even like DDG, but he seems like a responsible dad. She reaching. Hallie is learning the hard way. I like the girl, but we warned her that this would happen. And look, she now has incels in her comments, people in TSR calling her bitter, etc. And... I did go on the shade room, and there were a lot of people going in on her, calling her a better baby mama, and so forth and so on. It was just bad, and it got so bad to the point that Hallie had to deactivate her Instagram and Twitter. Now, in my opinion, I kind of felt like people were a little too hard on Hallie. (laughs) I do agree that she should not have taken her issues to the internet, because the internet is not really a safe place. But she had reasons for her concerns. Now, DDG took their child to Kai Sinat's house. Kai's house was recently swatted, so keep that in mind. His house is not really the safest place for their son. And also, I don't think Hallie is very Why familiar with Kai. Why she's saying more about him or been in his home or been around his friends. She don't know these people, and I think she would like to vet them before bringing her child around them. So she has a right to have concerns. And, you know, this is not to say that DDG can't protect <laughs> their son because he can. But still, she's a new mother. She's an anxious mother. And she expects DDG to at least tell her certain things ahead of time so she doesn't He's freak so out cute. later. So I understand where she's coming from. But Hallie's going to have to get to a point where she lets go of that. I can't anxiety believe people was just... calling her that baby ugly. Like, y'all ain't got no fucking eyes. Especially as he gets older. He's so cute. Just trust DDG with their son. Because if she doesn't, she's going to drive herself nuts. And as far as her being upset about the baby being on Kai Sinat's stream... Unfortunately, Why are they calling Kai Sinat? That is not that nigga name. Because DDG uses him for content, and Hallie has posted Absolutely. him a lot as well. So him being on Kai's Kai stream is not really a big deal <laughs> to people. People have seen Baby what Halo. Oh. Halo is famous. <laughs> so even though the situation is a big deal to Hallie, it's not as much of a concern to the public. 
So that's why people kind of dismissed her feelings about it. But like I said, I think people were a little hard on Hallie and she had to learn the hard way that the internet is not going to be on her side all the she time. Like been it's not been safe for how long? to air out her feelings. She did come back and say, yesterday, maybe I did overreact and Never. shouldn't have brought it here. I know that Halo is always safe with his dad. I just don't like finding it out with the rest of the world what my baby is doing. Thank you, Kai, for the gifts for Halo. So she acknowledged that, you know, she probably... Only because she got backlash. The world ...how she was feeling. But I don't think she was wrong for her feelings. I'll just say that. I don't think she was wrong. I think it would be helpful if she communicates that more with DDG. Even that. though they're not together now, they Who still does? have to co-parent. So they need to be on the same page at least when it comes to raising that. their son, Halo. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about... Oh, they're the same shit? She said more backlash, so I'm thinking she was adding more to the story. I don't know if she's going to talk about the exact same thing. But, yeah, it was interesting still hearing her uh, thoughts because I assume that she would 1,000% take uh, Hallie's side and be like, Diddy G is a cloud chaser, and he knew what he was doing. And he, you know, I thought she was going to be on that type of timing because, you know, she's been very biased in the past. But, no, she was uh, she was uh, honest about her thoughts and saying that she shouldn't have brought that to the Internet. That wasn't the best thing to do. Because I, I feel like any reasonable adult would say that. Like, why are we bringing this to the internet? It's not how you handle something. You should talk with your baby's father. You know? Uh, so at least she was honest with that. Uh, as far as Meg the Stallion, if she fought uh, Winnie, of course she dragged her. <laughs> what are we talking about? She beat the brakes off her ass. So it is what it is. You know, maybe Winnie, you should keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Then, you know, maybe you out here uh, getting bucked with people and you got bucked with the wrong one. You know, that's what it is. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know what happened. I'm joking. Um, maybe Meg was in the wrong. Who knows? We'll, we'll probably get more details as time passes. We'll, we'll see. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next one. Bye!